So folks, somebody was dumb enough to let me keep working on heavy equipment here in Construction Simulator. And yeah, we have a job to get to. Uh, apparently they're gonna let me play with more heavy equipment and potentially, you know, destroy the world. They were actually working at night. They still haven't given me like full reins over, I guess, the company. I don't know if I'm still just gonna like work for somebody the whole time or how this is actually gonna open up here. But supposedly we are in the final stages of building something big to attract tourists to the town. That way we can make tons of money. Also, you guys can attract your hand to the thumbs up button. No, that sounded kind of odd. Now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have said it that way. But yeah, hit that thumbs up button. So is this the part in the story where they realized like that I was going to create like a rival construction company and my old boss is going to take me out back and like bury me alive in some sort of like shallow grave or... What's happening here? Like, why are we working in the dead of night right now? Yo, look at this place. It's like a big warehouse. What are we doing out here? Is this... Wait. Is this going to be our HQ? Oh, wait. No, there's a building behind it. Maybe this is going to be our HQ. Are uh, you finally giving me something here? Uh, wait. Crash site. Wait. Okay, this does look like a shallow grave. Are they going to kill me? Um, <laughs> what is happening right now? Okay, it's gonna want me in the back of a backhoe here, um, and we are gonna, and we're gonna excavate a trench. Oh, jeez. I do love the earth-moving physics in this game. It's actually quite satisfying. All right, so keep going forward. I don't know what we're uncovering here. Maybe it's some sort of alien or something. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, here we go. What is the big reveal here? What's the crash site? What What is this thing? Oh, clear the marked area. Okay, let's back up here. Uh, something's about to happen. Is, is it gonna... What in the heck is that? There is a unidentified flying object. Okay, this game just got weird. Wait, is this gonna be our tourist attraction? Are we building Area 51? Wait, we need to place the object. What What does that even mean? Wait, where, where is this unidentified object? Where are we... Okay, this is weird. So it appears that we're... Are we placing this old tank? That doesn't look like an unidentified object. This looks like a tank. Okay, so we're literally placing this in here. Wait, I am so confused by the objective the game wants me to complete right now, but it's actually amazing. Here's your unidentified object. It's a giant... Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to place this down in here. No, there's definitely an object somewhere else that I'm supposed to place in here. I don't think this goes in here. Um... Okay, I, I gotta figure out what the game's wanting here. I, I don't see an unidentified object unless it's somewhere else on the map. So, fun fact, I'm supposed to have a UFO on the back of this truck. I think it was supposed to load up automatically, and it didn't. So, if I have to skip this task, is it... There it is! Okay, so the UFO's there now. So, I actually went and watched somebody else's video trying to figure out what the heck was going on and why I'm not seeing a UFO or a magical object. And when the mission loads up, I had the fuel tank on the back of this truck. They had the UFO, so might be a little, uh, little bit of a glitch I might need to go report. But yes, there is a unidentified flying object that we have placed in this hole. Um, that's a thing. I guess we're trying to attract people to the town, so we're gonna start a rumor here about UFOs in here. That's perfect. Okay, let's head the heck out of here and go see what else we need to get into. All right, so as you can see in the background, we finally have acquired our company. So I think the game's gonna, I guess, allow us to do more stuff freely now. And boom, look at this Komodo Incorporated Construction LLC uh, of totally not gonna get sued for destroying stuff is open for business. Also, it looks like there's a main campaign and there's also contracts that you can do. Uh, upgrade levels, finances. This is actually a lot more deep than I thought it was gonna be. Nice. Okay, so we're ready to go select a couple contracts here. So you can see all the stuff on the map here. A lot of these areas I need to go actually discover. And I'm assuming there is just jobs everywhere through here, which is nice. So, hmm, what do we wanna do? Land development. So it looks like maybe they're gonna be building a house over here. So it's five construction stages. So it looks like you get all the stuff here. So we have to rent construction machines for this one. I think eventually you can actually buy these and oh, we get to work with a bunch of stuff here. Nice, okay, so let's go ahead and accept the contract on this. And uh, I think we're gonna help build a house here. Also, I think we're gonna need this vehicle too. This is neat though. This is kind of what I was picturing the game doing. Uh, once you completed some of the tutorial stuff, uh, it's fine. I'm just going to take the sidewalk here. 
All right, coming in hot. I need your biggest dozer you have. Uh, I guess we just walk up to the front here, and uh, we go rent ourselves a big dozer. I'm just going to leave the, uh, the flatbed in your parking lot in front of the building. It's fine. All right, so we got our vehicles here. So you got wheel loaders. Oh, there is a ton of stuff in here. Uh, I think we need this dozer here, this case. Uh, you can buy it, which I don't have enough money to buy it, but we can rent it, so... Let's go ahead and rent this now, and then maybe we'll evaluate, like, which vehicles are worth it to own. But, yeah, let's go ahead and hit rent. And then it's 3000 or 3400 almost. So this vehicle is much different. It drives off of tracks, and the control scheme is completely different, because you can move the tracks uh, individually or together. Uh, I gotta get used to this here. So, yeah, it uses not your WASD, but it uses a Q&E. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get in here. So we need to flatten the area to begin with. So let's get down here. Uh, I think sometimes you get like a, it's called a ripper teeth, I think, in the back to loosen up soil, but everything looks pretty loose here. So, uh, all right, let's try pushing the dirt and see if we can flatten this. Oh, this thing moves so fast. Holy man. All right, so we gotta flatten this area. Okay, so the moving of earth here, this is really addicting. All right, so, oh, we got the whole pile over here that we need to move. Uh, still getting used to the controls here, but this is pretty cool. I, I like that they changed it up. All right, lift that up. Is this a bucket or is this... I think it might be considered a plow. Uh, all right, there we go. And 100% complete. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and clear the site. Okay, there we go. So we need to dig a trench. Uh, so I think we are building a house over here. But hey, we got paid there. We got paid a lot. Like this thing literally only cost me... Uh, what was it? 3,000 or 3,400 to rent. And we made 25,000 just for flattening that. Okay, I think we need to rent another vehicle here. We're gonna rent the excavator here because we need to dig a trench. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if we're building the whole house here. Or maybe we're just doing the foundation work for it. So we need to rent this bad boy. A little bit more expensive, close to four grand here. So let's go ahead and rent it. But I like that it's giving us a lot of money for the jobs that we're completing. So we eventually will be able to actually... Uh, buy all our own stuff. Wait, where did it go? Okay, there's a chance Komodo uh, paid a little too much and actually, oh, one of these hammers. These are little collectibles, by the way. Uh, we need to get up here. There we go. Uh, yeah, I accidentally rented two of these. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? I thought it was going to appear right outside the store. No, it didn't. Uh, is this thing? Oh, these are not roadworthy. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel this one over to the site. Okay, and we are ready to dig a trench here. Uh, same track system here as far as the controls. Uh, so we need to excavate this trench. Probably want to just do it from the side. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy. Oh, this is so cool. I love operating all this equipment in this game. Okay, so we're going to turn down here. Let's go ahead and bucket needs to come out. Uh, I think I'm doing this right. Okay, so and then we want to go down. Make sure I'm actually uh, digging the right trench here. All right, and then pull back. Oh! We are a little over to the side. This is fine. This might be a little messy on my uh, my end. Did you guys want a trench or did you just want a gigantic hole? Where am I supposed to put this stuff after? Okay, we're just going to dump it here in the street. Boom. Just dump it up. I love the dirt physics. I like that it actually uh, piles up. Okay, so I have dug like the worst trench, but the game just said, you know what? This is fine. So here, let's back up here. And we're gonna ignore the work that we've done. Uh, hopefully the game will clean it up a little bit once we get over here. And they go, hey, you did a good job here. All right, there we go. All right, so we need to go to the flatbed and actually go pick up some materials here. Okay, well, at least we own this one. We don't have to rent this one. All right, let's go pick up materials. I wonder how much this is gonna cost. Where do we go? Uh, oh, there's materials placed right down the street. It's all so conveniently placed. Don't turn in front of me. Uh, I will run you over. Oh, they were basing over there. Holy man. Oh, yeah, the game definitely cleaned up my trench a lot. Like, my trench didn't look that good. That's neat, though, that you don't have to be perfect because, yeah, I'm still getting used to some of the controls here. All right, so we need a pallet of PVC pipes and a cable drum. I don't know where we're actually picking them up. I'm sure, we're going to have to load them up into the vehicle here. Yo, we can get a mobile toilet. That's a thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of just want to put a toilet on there for funsies. All right, so we need to buy one of these. Uh, what else can we get here? There's a lot of stuff that you can get. Uh, let's get the pallet of PVC pipes. Uh, you got like wood beams. Like you got pretty much anything that you can think of as far as uh, for your construction needs. All right. We want to check out here. Deliver to the yard or the warehouse. Uh, oh, we can do an auto loading. Or I can pay $600 and they can deliver it to the actual construction site. 
which makes a little more sense with a lot of these places. Uh, when you buy materials, they a lot of times they'll deliver it for you. So let's go ahead and do that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, they're going to deliver it over there. I mean, I guess you do have the option if you want to save a little cash, which, you know, if you're watching for your overhead of your company, you know, it might be worth it to load it up. But, you know, for 600, I think it was worth it to have them go deliver it to the site. All right. So yeah, there's a little box on the construction sites where they place the stuff. You know, what's weird is I think it still wants me to move it into position. They didn't do that for me. It's fine, though. At least they got it over here. All right. So... Uh, I think we're going to want to do this. Go ahead and go outriggers here. And then we're going to place those down and we're going to move our... Uh, well, I might be in the middle of the, the way for one of these, but we need to move this over to the other side of the truck real quick. Okay, and we want to place this down over here. There it goes. I don't know what's going to happen to this other one because my truck's kind of in the way. Uh, we'll see here. Okay, hook that one up. Not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, this is oddly satisfying. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave those right there because yeah, I need to uh, I need to move back a little bit. Okay, move that right there, clonk. Okay, so they are in uh, the area. So, oh, all right. Well, we're kind of already in position here. So we need to lower the pipes uh, down into the trench here. So let's go ahead and uh, click that. There we go. And I think we can do this all from like I said, this side here. I think we stretch out far enough. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I want to get the other one. Oh, we're just kind of grinding it against the ground. How far does this boom go out? Oh, it goes out really far. All right, go over uh, and down and boom. Okay, so that one's in place. Okay, we got one more to lower into the ground here. Up, 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 up. Boom. All right, so PVC pipe is good. So I need to unpack the construction materials. How do I do that? Just walk up to it, I'm assuming. How do we do you? Uh, unpack. Uh, okay. Well, I think he's unpacking it. Either he's just doing a little dance there. Oh. Uh, we have fulfilled our goal for the current level. Wait, are we done? Uh, oh, we need to flatten the area. Yeah, we made some money there. All right, we're going to get back into the case here. Head back out to the site. Uh, I like how it says it's not roadworthy and you can fast travel, but, I mean, I can totally just drive this over. Can I plow over a car? That is a good question. This is the point in time where we realize that it charges us for damages. Oh, no, it does not. We are just, yep. Um, that is the thing. I like that the game lets you do that. <laughs> yes, props to the game. Oh, we just yeeted those cars into existence. They're dead now. And people say I'm not road worthy. I think I'm doing a good job here. We only killed two people today. Okay, so I think we're just gonna flatten this stuff right in, so, oh. Uh, make it go that way. All right, here we go. Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. I think I am. All right, push it in. We. Oh, did that cover it? Oh, geez. Okay, let's try not to drive off into the trench and get this stuck, even though I don't think there's a chance this thing would get stuck. This is a very, very nice piece of equipment here. No, okay, we might get stuck. We got one more area. Oh, we just ran over our pipe. Komodo knows what he's doing. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, we might want to lift this up and back out of this situation real quick. You know, we're actually flattening the stuff with the tracks, too. That is a thing. Like, you don't have to just use, uh, like, the bucket in the front. There we go. All right. All we have to do is drive the machines off. So, I don't think we were actually building the house. We were just getting the area ready. Like, they still need to do, like, the foundation and everything. All right. That looks like a job well done. We just got to clear out our construction vehicles here, and they should give us the go-ahead, and we're good. Uh, that should be a thing. So do I have to return the rented stuff, or is it going to automatically do that? There's times where Komodo should probably pay attention, but I, I think it does it automatically. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it just covered everything. And we back off, and we got paid. Everything's good to go. I need to go speak with the guy. Oh, he just randomly... I'm telling you, he's got magical powers. If there's aliens in this game, it's definitely hape. He just appears out of nowhere. And look at that. Land development job completed. So I think eventually they're going to put a house here. Can we put the house here? That would be kind of cool if we like did all the process. Somebody said a hydraulic excavator would be a good addition to your fleet. Well, I'm going to let you guys at home kind of decide what vehicle if we're going to buy one. Like what's the first thing that we buy. Uh, so that'll be a thing. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into here. Uh, the bulldozer is still over there. Do I need to return those? I don't know how that works. Maybe just after 24 hours, they just go away because that was how long you rented them for. So yeah, we got other options for jobs. You can go continue doing the campaign, but we have more, uh, I guess contracts here 
Uh, one's for a commercial building and one is for a parking lot. Like, what are we doing here? Oh, we're actually putting up walls. Oh, we need a trailer for this one. That would definitely be something I would assume we would need to rent. Oh, we can rent machines down here. Where do we get this big uh, multi-trailer? You know, I think we can accept another uh, contract here. So it wants us to go, what, probably pick up materials. Okay, so we are looking to rent a tractor. Uh, so that needs to be a thing. So we can do this Kenworth here. So we need to rent this. And then we need to rent a massive trailer for this. So I think it's the multi-trailers here. Okay, so we're going to rent this bad boy. Oh, the trailers are cheap. Okay, so we should be good to go get into the tractor, load up the trailer, and uh, take off here. Yo, oh, where'd you guys put my trailer at? Uh, it says 13. Wait, I don't see the trailer here. Back up and press. Uh, guys, this is not a trailer. Unless it's going to appear out of thin air, I, I don't have a trailer here. Y'all put it on. Oh, they put it on the other side. Okay. Uh, it also looks like it might be floating in the air. Um, I hope we can still hook this thing up. What up, buddy? Uh, can we still hook you into you? Is this a thing? Oh, we can. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we do have it. All right, so we are ready to go pick up our materials. So the map's definitely a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Watch out, everybody. Oops, somebody just hit somebody. This is fine. Uh, Komodo can drive. Yeah, the map is massive here. Uh, we had to drive all the way across it. I guess we're going to a shop that has the correct materials that we need. Uh, maybe the other building was, or I guess the other shop was more for like in-ground stuff. Like I think we're picking up maybe prefabricated walls here. Also, uh, did I just run that? No, I did not. Uh, the game does fine you for running red lights. There's no penalty for killing people with, you know, your vehicle, but you run that red light, that's going to be $100. See, watch this. You go boom wait for it there we go red light violation that is the thing okay so it they pretty much already have the uh the building uh on order here so we just have to purchase the materials so i guess it knows what jobs you're doing so tell it to load it so we should be loaded up and ready to go right oh yeah there's a buttload of stuff over here so yeah all the prefabricated walls are ready to go so we need to go get that no we got to go purchase some construction materials i gotta drive all the way across town again uh it is yeah way on the other side this is a thing okay we need ceiling components two of those is that it oh and one of the rebar mesh and that should be it so they gotta load this onto the trailer we might have them deliver this one okay so those are going over there uh i probably still need my crane or my flatbed over on the site too uh because i'm sure we're gonna have to unload all this stuff once we get there but we're making good progress Oh, this is going to be a neat little area for a store. I like this. So I need to use the crane. Well, we don't have a crane here, so I'm assuming uh, we need to either get a crane. Oh, we can purchase one for the little designated site. Okay, that's kind of neat. Can I just walk up and purchase it? Do I need to go back to the store? Uh, crane area. G. Uh, you don't have a suitable crane. You can rent one. Yes, I need to rent one. Um, I don't think we need a tower crane for this. I like this fast uh, erecting crane here, so let's go ahead and rent that. But yeah, now we can actually just grab this stuff. I don't know why we're doing this at night. Maybe there's a way to pass time. Feels kind of weird working in the middle of the night. Okay, here comes our last bit of materials. Just gonna swing this bad boy this way. And, oh, this is coming in hot. That was close enough. All right, so we need to put the frame into the site. So let's get this out of the way real quick. Yeah, we totally uh, delivered those right. Uh, I mean, they look fine. They're all right there. They're in the little zone here. I believe we did this. There we go. Nice. I need to just flip this stuff like straight. Oh, we might get crushed by a wall here. Uh, so yeah, I guess I have to set these up. But I mean, we got the stuff ready to go for the souvenir shop. And if you guys want to see me complete it, uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comment section below. We'll see you guys next time in Construction Simulator.